Huge raindrops banging down on the rusting farmhouse roof. The air was full of lights last night. Our neighbor, he's got an old caboose in his backyard, surrounded by railroad accoutrements, and a huge American flag draped over the front porch, eave trough to ground. He takes photos of old church steeples around here. His job is to replace the bells with sound systems. The caboose is marooned at the edge of Eric's hayfield, where John and Greta live in a yurt with no electric or running water. They're from California. My old inherited puppy, Princess, my mom's old puppy, out in the yard, barks at the sky. Watching her through the lilacs crowding the wavy glass, long light and the memory of a hundred years of it and those it fell on standing there looking out in through the slumping bay window. The tiny Harford post office has a wooden picnic table with the built-on benches in the lobby. Or, put another way, the lobby is empty of all objects except a wall of the mailbox doors and the picnic table where George and Charlie are sitting. I have a postcard and a piece of old hemp rope with princess on the end of it. Look into their eyes. Big flag woofs in the air that has brought the rain. The world ends beyond the post office. Even during the day, all you can see past it are stars and black space. The bell calls us all to prayer at the wooden Methodist church just down the road. Still a real bell. Brothers and sisters hiss through town, passing post office, princess, flag, caboose, yurt, church, heading down the valley on 38. May we all rise.